Hello, my name is Annie Amenshaw. I am the Regional Director here at Academy of Learning Bay Queen at Brampton East Campus. Please join us in conversations to learn more about what we do here. I'm Alan Dale from Gale Force Winds and I love the conversation I'm having here today at the Academy of Learning downtown Toronto. Why don't you introduce yourself, tell us what you do. Oh, so my name is Hyacinth Elliott and I'm a PSW instructor. I work with the Academy of Learning. So uh, PSW instructor, so tell me what that is, what, what do you do? So I teach um, adult, adult students. Um, ages I would say ranging from 20 to 30s sometimes I have um, students who are a little older okay. mm -hmm. and a lot of these students are immigrants so they had different professions um, in their other countries um, and now they have immigrated to Canada and they have chosen to take this course and be a part of the healthcare system it must be amazing to learn the backgrounds of the students, where they had come from before they arrived at your doorstep. Talk to me about how cool that is. It is so cool. So in my class, there's so much diversity, diversity of culture, um, ages, ethnicity, educational background, life experience. Yeah. Um, so when I meet my students, that's one of the first things that we talk about. I have I share about myself and my experience in healthcare and I have them all share with me about their experience. And it's a good way to learn about the students. It's also a good way for me to evaluate um, the strength of their English language, to be right. honest. Yeah. I bet the students learn a lot from one another as well. They do. And so one of the cool things we do in our class sometimes is to put students in groups and they go into what's called breakout rooms. So it's a smaller number of students in one room and they get to communicate and collaborate and have that interdependent relationship with each other. It's really lovely, yes. Yeah. You know, and of course it takes a special kind of person to be a, 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 pub, a, a support worker, uh, as you talk about. Um, talk to me about sort of the people that you meet along the way. The students must be very special in their nature. So my students, um, they, well, they show great curiosity um, about healthcare. Some of them, it's the first time that they're learning about healthcare. Um, others have had some healthcare experience, whether it's personally with being a caregiver to their family, or um, they may have been employed in a healthcare facility, mm. but they have had a little bit of exposure to healthcare. But what I find is they so appreciate learning about the principles of healthcare, which involves so much about respect and dignity and compassion and empathy um, yes and that's how I s and I see how my students from day one to two or three months later how much their their even their language have improved as they talk about the care that they will give to clients so it's it's really heartwarming you know it, it, it must be you must you have a front row seat to watching this transformation occur from when they arrive into your classroom, maybe some nervous, oh, maybe yes. some unsure, of course. to a point where they're gone through their practicum experience and now they have a job, a front row seat to that. That's very special. Yes, and graduation is one of the most joyful experiences. Yeah. Um, it's almost tear jerking, to be honest, yeah. to see, as you said, those who in the beginning were so shy, unsure of themselves, to see them proudly graduating and moving on to their career. Yes, yeah. it's a wonderful experience. Not only sort of changing their lives, but the lives of their families as well, but then the best part of it all is they get to go into the community and help change other people's lives. That's right, yes. Yeah. They make a positive impact um, in the world 
And that is why I take my responsibility as an instructor so seriously. Yeah. Because my goal is to have, is to make that positive impact on my students. Not just with teaching them, but just, not just teaching them about healthcare, but teaching them about life, talking with them about life. Um, and just, yeah, overall making that positive impact on their lives and the lives of their family and the lives of those vulnerable clients that they will work with. The way you talk, it's not so much about teaching, it's about empowering. Mm -hmm. That's a different yes. conversation than teaching. Right. Right? That's a whole sort of more complex thing that you're doing. You're empowering people with something very special. Yes, well, that is my approach with my students. I have a holistic approach because they're humans. At the, at the beginning, they're just humans, and I have this great opportunity to teach them about healthcare, to teach them the principles. But the, the biggest overall thing is for them to apply those principles of dignity independence, preference, privacy, safety. Yeah. You have a wonderful approach, uh, and we really appreciate you being in conversation with us and, and appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Nice meeting you. Thank you for joining us in, in this conversation. For more information, please visit AOLToronto.com.